Uh, welcome back to TYT Sports. We're uh, live streaming over on Facebook. We're gonna be doing that on Friday. So we were doing that like Monday through Friday. Some things changed, some programming changed, and we decided instead of uh, you know five or six streams a week of two clips, we're gonna give you the Friday show. The whole show. The whole show. Maybe. And Friday shows are the best. You know why, Jason? You know why? Happy hour? I just like Fridays. Do you? Yeah, I wish you had this enthusiasm on Tuesday. Does the weekend start Friday or does it start Thursday at 12? Look, I grew up so in college, the weekend starts Thursday. It just I, I think it starts Wednesday for me. Well, did <laughs> I didn't have class on Thursday. Like coach, oh, that's wait, okay. So be a class Friday. <laughs> I had class Friday. So it was like a uh, it was like a weekend. And then a day of just sheer misery on Friday, but I was hungover, and then back to the weekend. Monday is my day of oh, sheer uh, misery. But uh, speaking of uh, misery, uh, Reds uh, prospect, Cincinnati Reds prospect, and a little bit of baseball news for everybody, uh, was Snapchatting himself to his friends doing cocaine. And his one of his friends in this situation took a video of it, sent it into MILB.com, sent it into, which is minor league baseball, sent it into major league baseball.com. So therefore that guy shouldn't be called friend. Right, but you all, yeah. okay, yes. <laughs> on the light, on the lighthearted note, yeah, that's not your friend. You shouldn't He's be sent. But on the realistic note here, don't send this Snapchat yeah. to anybody yeah. ever. Here it is. There's one joke that could be made. The, if he had a Pepsi. <laughs> and there's two jokes that could be made. <laughs> Taking Coke, chased by Coke. All right, fair. I mean, you can really play on words. <laughs> now, uh, here's like rule number one. Don't Snapchat yourself doing cocaine. Rule number two, don't Snapchat yourself doing cocaine wearing your team's t-shirt. Yeah, uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's, there's, there's rule, like we could outline these rules for this guy. All right, I would say rule number one, one, if you're a professional athlete, don't do drugs. But people will do drugs. But that's just the first rule that you would put. Totally fair. Right? Rule number two, you're absolutely right. Don't, if you happen to want to do drugs for whatever reason and jeopardize your career on this coming out, don't put it on video. Uh, and Three. then th th third rule, don't do it whilst wearing your shirt and then sending that video out into the internet, whether it's within a private group or not, because one person you might not know is not your friend, as you have just found out the hard way, and is gonna take that and make some money off of it. This is the interwebs, this is Fapgate, this is where everything literally can that's, be found. That's the gate that comes to mind. That's the only gate. Fapgate. The, the, the Jennifer Lawrence gate, it's a good one, it's a, it's a good way to say it. It's that was like, the Fappening. Fappening, I just made it a gate. It's it. It, it was leaks. It, it was always been. gates. It um, so yeah, it's like you find out that these things have a way of finding the way out to, to to the media, and it's just not wise practice, especially when you're an athlete. We talk about this all the time, Jay. You're privileged, man. You have one of the best opportunities in the world, the thing that people would kill for, and you just you don't respect it by doing that, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I agree with hundred percent. He's uh, he was only he was actually a pretty low down. He was the sixteenth ranked prospect in the Reds organization. The point here being is, uh, as we've just mentioned and, and beating to uh, at this point over and over again, you don't do these kind of things. And it, the opportunity is one thing, I agree with that 100%. And it's not like this is the first time because what the Reds did right in this situation, according to the New York Daily News article that I uh, got it from, uh, if I'm reading this correctly, they're, they're concerned about not the fact that they have a player who's doing drugs, they're concerned for his status and his health at the moment. Yeah. So they're gonna help him with that. Uh, and also he's been suspended 50 games, but they're gonna help him through the 50 game suspension to seek help for obviously what could be a problem, what could not be a problem, we don't know. Yeah. Regardless, it's the right way to go about things. Cause some teams might just cut you. Yeah. Say, I don't want that a part of this. No. So, so I mean, if it's a repeating offense, then yeah, you got to well, think about yourself yeah, as a- Josh, uh, yeah. Josh Gordon? Dan, am I make, that's his name, right? Yeah, Josh if you, yeah. Because if you continually do it, then you're you're jeopardizing the stock that your company's putting in you. Um, the same way, if I if I was to get for some reason get caught smoking weed at this company, and people thought that it was uh, hindering the you way I was doing host sober, <laughs> the way I was hosting, then maybe Jenk would be like, okay, we need to figure this out. You can't do this anymore. If I was to continue to do it, then I wouldn't. I don't think anyone would hold it against them, unless you're in California where it's get where it's legal. Any other drug, then I think that you need to start taking action and, and making sure that that doesn't hinder it. Because imagine you were trying to do this show when I was just completely On Monday's gone. show, Francis Maxwell will try meth. 
Yeah, so we'll try, we'll see how it works. If the show happens to be good whilst I'm out of my mind. Yeah, maybe you'll Just channel, tripping. maybe you'll channel uh, like Will Ferrell at the end of old school. Yeah. I have no idea what's happened, I just blacked out. One of, the, one of the best movie trips that I've just seen, well best is kinda fast and loose with the term, but really good, was uh, 22 Jump Street. I just watched it. The, the Channing Tatum the, yeah, and, yeah, and John Hill. When John Hill's, it's good, yeah, it's fun. John Hill's in the dark place, <laughs> Channing Tatum's like <laughs> floating up, he's like, no, come down with me, no, I wanna go, I wanna keep going up. <laughs> She's like ass, ass and titties, titties, ass, ass and titties, titties. Ah, <laughs> oh, funny stuff, man. Bartman knows. Really underrated movie, in my opinion.